galleta integral. It's my breakfast. I'm not very hungry in the morning. I need my coffee first, and then an hour later, that's when things start rumbling. So, um, good morning, everyone. What is this? It's my um, day 84 of 100 days of making comics. My name is Jan. You know, I'm making a comic book, and today is going to be the day I live the dream. Um, with some of the worry about paperwork out of the way and an awful lot of video editing bogged down by importing pictures and um, videos and all sorts of troubles with photos that I don't want to go into. Um, today I'm just going to draw. I'm going to stay in. Well, I'm going to go for a run. You know, get a little bit of vitamin D. But I'm going to stay in and I'm going to get like a solid six to eight hours of art done. That's my plan. So I've got my I've got my page set up. What I was doing yesterday. We just see how far I can get down. Can I finish a whole page in one day like this? Can I do more? Let's find out. or caffeinated tree hugger full of fiber. So this is my, uh, my warm up yesterday, which is just a, uh, a random old lady from my imagination that I then traced into this one, which came out all right, but there's still a lot of ugly lines here. I'm not happy. Again, it's the hair. Shadow and light here is all wrong. It's just not coming out quite as fluent. Um, but then I made that one, which kind of reminds me of uh, Aunt May of Spider-Man, the way she used to be drawn into comics. And that one, I held back with a lot of the light and shadow, um, but it came out pretty cool. So the question is, can I do this over here as a warm-up exercise? So I took a picture from the video I just made and I emailed it to myself because that's a lot less hassle than opening photos right now. Um, and I'm gonna trace it. This is a little warm up exercise, you know, get the blood flowing. So let's go. One of the things that I've been doing in the past two weeks is as I increase the amount of art I get done every day, um, I find new ways to practice. Like I have the time to practice and I put it to good use. Um, and so I keep coming up with new ways to try out different things. One of the things that I find very pleasant is this kind of tracing because it kind of switches up my brain. I can just focus on the inking and I always like I always find like subliminally, even though you're not drawing the drawing, you just pick stuff up doing this way. Like I pick stuff up from about the face, even though it's my own face, uh, how to do this particular expression. Uh, there's just all these little details that you pick up. And when the the inking comes together, shading it, like there's there's stuff that I recognize from comic books where I'm like, so that's why they did that. That's why they do that this way. Or this is how they do that. Like um, when I use white to, to draw into the black, for example. Um, something I, I definitely put to good use on my, my comic book page today, as you will see later on. And that's my one hour, no, 47 minutes. I got a little carried away. Um, but that came out a lot better than I thought it would, and it was fun. 
I'm all warmed up now. Um, I'm gonna stretch these legs a little bit and I'll come back and it's time to get started on that comic book page. So I'll catch you guys in hour two. You know how yesterday I said I wasn't going to do this because it was too much hassle with wires and everything? Well, you know, you go for a half hour run and you're fully energized and you have an apple. And it's not that big of a deal. No. Wires, man. Wires. I've been here like, what, two weeks? Three weeks? It's already a spider web. That I get stuck in myself waiting for something to come over and eat me. Let's make some art. Time for hour number two. More like an hour and a half. But that's okay because I've been enjoying myself. Um, I was a little, a little worried about making this scene because, oh, because I don't want to screw it up. But it, I was really like the whole concern of like, do I use really thin lines because it's a background, but then I want people to focus on the characters. So I went dark anyway. Um, but as you can see, scanning around, I hope this noise isn't too obnoxious. Um, as you can see, scanning around here, um, I think it's coming out all right. I might try it differently some other time, but there's a lot of stuff that kind of organically happened, like the, the panels, whereas before I, I considered them to be like metal and falling apart, I actually went for a more soft, like sci-fi panel-y approach. Um, CRT television, of course. No flat screens here, I think. Well, not for now, not right here. Uh, there might be even an NES under the cover, who knows. Um, but I'm liking how this is coming along, even though I am taking too long, but it's my first time, so. Indulge me, please. The third hour has passed. Let's see where we're at in this hopefully soundproof. Is that even? Huh. Oh, never mind. There's no window. <laughs> so much for soundproofing. Um, but it is a lot quieter here. Is that you, little kitty? Meow. Yeah, I guess you need some attention. Meow. I'm noodling. I'm still on the same panel. And I find that I am constantly switching between black and white and getting that right line and putting them in the right position by moving the lines around. And um, as much as I at some point was thinking like, wow, these are actually looking like pretty finished lines. Um, maybe these are really the tight pencils as I initially planned. Um, a lot of it is looking good, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I need to step away from this panel. I just have three more faces after three hours that I still have to fill in. That's ridiculous. That's how much I'm noodling. How to stop noodling? That is the big question. How do you stop noodling? Time limits. I'm going to set a timer. Um, I, I think that's a good solution because um, I'm clearly getting carried away and I want to have a page finished by the end of this day and this way at this rate it's not gonna happen but I am happy with what I've got so stay tuned this was originally this whole beam and this whole beam was gonna be metal and it was gonna be like this um, Oops. Um, so in keeping, in honoring my original idea, I kept this one segment metal, as if it's missing a panel. I really like how this has come out. 
I'm not sure about the single lines. But this is, I think this me not being sure is part of the problem. Oh, let me get this. See, this is what I do. Let me just show you. I see, I see this. I see these iffy little bits sticking out and it bothers me greatly. Because it's not, oh, here it was. This one right here. It bothers me um, and this bothers me like why is this not a solid straight nice little ink line it's like I'm um... oh see here I go again I have to stop I have to zoom out it's fine it's great I'm not making a poster no one's gonna stare at this <sighs> breathe but fellow artist, you know what I mean. You know what I'm on about. This is painful. So let me just go back to uh, what I did enjoy about this page. Um, I zoom out a little bit more. I like these panels. I like that the room is not quite symmetrical. There's another beam sticking out here. Uh, this one here. She's behind. This this just randomly came up. Like I drew this one here, and. Like with the balloons, I just, to kind of keep the flow of my hand, I just drew the whole thing. And then I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. I could have her lean, I could have Anne lean against the beam of these panels and like the hair coming around and it, it makes her more part of the scene. I hate this hand. Why is this hand so ugly? Anyway, breathe. Usha. So yes, I like where this room is going. I like the little detail, like the little post-it notes or photos stuck on this wall. I like that. This is again, like just something that just all of a sudden, like I'm just find myself drawing it because it makes sense. But now you know that this there's another side to this wall, uh, which is another thing with the perspective, like with these panels, like how they go. It's kind of important to me. Um, let's draw the faces before I talk too much and I waste too much time on this, the fourth hour. The fourth hour. Let's choose it. No, this is a thick pen. Wait. Let's see you on camera. All right, let's go. So I came across a drawing of this guy in one of my videos, who sometimes you find yourself watching your older videos and it's like, oh yeah, I did have a drawing. So, is this showing up all right? All right, so, let's go. Actually, that's another thing I want to mention that I've been doing. Um, I have been turning the sound off. Uh, I tend to listen to podcasts, watch videos on the big screen, you know, and all this multitasking is simply not working, I guess. All this multitasking is nonsense.
even though I'll admit I've been noodling and not getting this page done, I do feel much more productive with my full attention on the page and just turning everything off. I know I won't be able to do that all the time, but I did make a concentrated effort today um, because I found myself a little too distracted lately because there's so many cool games out and like movie reviews and like there's lots of stuff happening. Okay, so now I find that um, I don't like how this line now seems to continue, so I'm just gonna erase that for a second. Just need to. Overall, what this hour taught me the most, I think, is um, sometimes you just need to walk away from a drawing or flip it or do whatever it is you have to do, but sometimes it's best to walk away. Um, the main character, Vez, as in the main, as in he takes up the most space, I am really not happy with how he came out. Um, I think I was doing everything right, but he's just too scribbly and the lines just never came out right. Unlike the character I'm drawing right here, right now, that one actually, I'm very, very happy with, because um, I kind of drew him from memory and I'm, I'm pleased with the lines and everything. Um, but Vez, this one right here, which I'm about to draw right now, there's some cool stuff. I had fun drawing him, but I, I must have done, I must have gone over his face three times to get the lines and the shadows and everything right. And it just, I'm just not, I'm not pleased with it. Um, I will leave it. I will continue on the next panel. And once the page is done, I'm gonna select him, drop some blue on top of him um, drop the opacity and have another go because that's the magic of Photoshop. I get to have another go without ruining the paper. So let's put that to good use. I mean, just look at those lines. Fun to draw, but not quite. Mm. Needs to be simpler. And that's it for the fourth hour. I finally finished the panel. Um, too much noodling again, I think. But was it worth it? Well, I had fun. I can say that much. My hand hurts. I can say that too. So that's my badge of honor. Um, looking at it. Overall, I'm very happy with how it came out. Um, I'm gonna have to do up the balloons at some point. For now, I think it's time to take a little break and then get started on the next panel, which, anyway, I'll take a picture, I'll stick that in. Hour five. I'm ready for bed now. <laughs> it's actually getting quite late because of all the breaks I've been taking. Um, I did it. I got them. I, I drew the next two panels, which are the group shots. They took me quite a bit of time to get the faces right. Uh, but once I had the practice in of doing uh, Viz's face twice over, I, I cut out from the other layer um, my previous drawing of him 
that I failed miserably at, um, put it on a separate layer, dropped the opacity, used it as a sketch, and just drew them again and tried to keep it simple. And I think I've succeeded. It looks like, just like the one uh, on the panel below. It fits in. Yes. Victory. So now I am going to call it quits. So I have not finished the page. That's a shame. But I'm very happy where it's going. Maybe I'm not going to call it quits. Maybe I'll just another hour or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so like, my brain is fried right now. But I'm definitely going to take a break for now. So um, if you don't hear from me, I will see you guys tomorrow. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you tomorrow in my day 85 of 100 Days of Making Comics. If you like what you see here, keep in mind there's loads more of us doing the 100 day challenge. You can find us under the V100s on Facebook and I'll be sure to post some links in the uh, comment section below. See you guys tomorrow.